Thursday, right? Thursday. Yeah. Oh well. To God be the glory, because um, there is no person in this life that will that will have to say the story of his or her life that uh, is not going to come with uh, challenges. As part of life, I face my own challenges as an upcoming actor, as a growing man. But to God be the glory today. I have every cause to thank God and He's for sparing me and making me come this far. So it may not be easy, but it's full of thanks and praises. That's why we're looking at November 4th, next Thursday, 2021, for my 50 plus 1 celebration. And it's a little bit less to them. It's not easy. Well, maybe because I'm blessed to raise um, other uh, veterans that they were of good morals, good conduct. And you know, part of what they thought while I was training under them was you have to just be yourself, be humble and respectful. I appreciate you, I appreciate you, and I appreciate anybody that appreciates what you are doing. So, so far, so good. It has always been uh, a reciprocative situation to those people that have been part of me, even those that I've never met before, and some that I've met have been very appreciative of their role, their contribution, their part in me becoming what I am today. I give thanks to Almighty Allah and I give thanks to all those that appreciate that thing that I've been doing because I don't really know how good it is, but they made me feel I've been doing something that, they interest, that got them interested. So to God be the glory, I appreciate them all. Thank you, my fans. I love you all. Well, I have to be sincere about that. Maybe because the area I grew up and I was, I was living then, I'm not too pleased with the way things was actually handled or uh, how do I say? Yeah. So I felt okay, complaining out of this circle might not really help. So it's better for you to be within the circle. Come and put in your own quota. Come and play your own role. Come and do it in your own little way you think you can get it done better. And that's what will be then to become a politician. Well, first of all, choice choice really matters a lot. You understand? I actually choose PDP because being a Lagosian and being a true born of Lagos. Uh, I saw a lot of things to me in Lagos days that were not actually how they were supposed to be. And if you really need to correct something, then you have to like come from the opposite angle so that you can see how you can point out where it's not being done right, then you can actually try and put it right. So for me, joining PDP way back then is simply because I felt, oh, okay, if I have opportunity, I want to do it in a different way from how it's been done by those members of the ruling party that have been really legal state. That was what really led to my being part of PDP. And um, to God be the glory, um, this cannot be taken away, I mean, this courage cannot be taken away if not for the, for the blessings and the glory of the blessed memory and General Lufonso Williams, because that was my political godfather. And you know, anywhere he is, I'm always with him. Some are in some quarters. You know, just believe that had it been you were in APC, maybe you would have at least sailed to the to the top. 
in politics today? I have a lot of colleagues that we were like contemporaries that they are aspiring to and they were part and parcel of um, the ruling party in Lagos State. Yet, they've never been opportunity to win any elective votes, not even winning the ticket of the party. I've been a candidate of my own party, fine. Election didn't go the way I wanted it. Buhari contested so many times before eventually showed the president of Nigeria. So I'm not giving up and I'm not tired. So going forward, you still have, you know, mind on it? I am still, I'm still working towards realizing my goal and I know one day that goal is going to be achieved. In what capacity? Yeah, as lawmaker precisely because I believe where the problem of Nigerian falls most is within the lawmakers because when we were able to actually start putting things right and appropriate, then that can manifest on the generalities of things in this country because where there is an active and sound law and order, you understand, I believe every other thing will fall in place because when there is orderliness and law abiding, my brother, everything, every other thing. We have experienced it in this country before. When we have some leaders that they are like um, um, ambassador of um, discipline, that they are pro ad ad advocating discipline in this country. And that time we all felt the good read, I mean the good will, the good deed of what they implemented then. So why, why, why would I be part of putting things right so that it can be better for us, not even me alone, but for even coming generations so that when they come, they will meet the platform of that uh, orderliness and um, um, law abiding and putting things right mentality so that Nigerians can actually turn around for better because grossly what has actually led us to here has been mismanagement, indiscipline and uh, disorderliness. That was what really led Nigeria to where we are today. You are one of the top amongst the Yoruba actors. Have you ever tried your hand in, you know, being with the English generally? Ah, well, you know, the, the, to me, my own theory of uh, futuring or crossing over is simply when your interest is, is demanded or when your, when your service is demanded from the other side. Why not? I think I've tried that once or twice through a colleague of ours that is actually, I mean, that's also, that's also a Yoruba movie actor, the person of Said Baloki, the Yaba Ujo, Fuki Akedele, and also of them like that, that they have done things in the English version. And I took up the theory when I was called upon, I took part in it. Till tomorrow, if I get any invitation and I'm pleased with the script, why not? Why would I be part of it? And to your credit, how many films have you done? I can't be, I can't, to be sincere, I can't even have an actual film. But to God be the glory, I've featured so many movies that I actually run into one. Place. Your personal movie, how many have you done? My so personal far? movie, I yeah. think I've produced close to a dozen movies. Yeah, close to a dozen, if not 11 movies. And look at, look at, look at, looking at the proceeds, does it really worth it? I have to be sincere with you. Lately, it's not, it's not worth it at all. But thank God to the new development of the social media, online streaming, and all that. I think that is trying to redirect. I mean, the way bad things. I mean, how bad things are gone, and try to bring I mean, some sanity into it, and giving I mean, reason for us to think and have hope. There's still dividend in investing in movie, in the movie business. Nigba Kori, I will tell man, panipe, our piracy, piracy, piracy now. What are the major challenges? See, I'm going to do it. 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 You can imagine some other people, you know, one of them will move you in movie, so in social media platform, like that, like that authorization, like that, she don't want to do the movie. And tell me, you want to do the movie, you want to do the platform, you are authorized. Tell me, you know, I'm going to do the movie, you're going to do the movie. We are, we, are, we are still not out of that um, pirate challenge, so follow me my question and why. But coming from there, most of us are going to be in Britain's city. We are going to be offering, say, offering command, we are going to be offering pay, da da for us. We want to be more with you, da. We want to be on social media platform. What did you do? We are going to be bombed. We want to be bad, da. We are going to be. One of my really bombed because 
Something, something might have spurred you into acting. Kini, one that singular thing that propelled you into acting before you came across Ogogo. Hey, I didn't even come across Ogogo. We grew up together. Though it's an older version of us in the area, but we all grew up in the same area. They were older, we were younger. But right from my own secondary school days, I've been into the theater group of the school to the point that I have I represented in my school in so many competitions about cultural events. And to God be the glory, the records are there. I won grossly the most events I attended or I represented my school as. That in my school, I was called, or I used to be called, Alajej. That once you get to the gate of Royal Avenue High School, and you say you're looking for Alajej, even the gate man will need you to wherever I am, because I am so, so popular in the school then. And, um, during my secondary school days, I happened to be a member of the cultural group at where I represented the school in so many events and competitions, which grossly I can recollect very well, we were always first, worst come second. So I was so very popular at school then that from the gate, once you meet the gate man or the blue security personnel that you are asking or you are looking for a large age, you bring it straight to me. So I was very popular in school then. But when I grow when I got out of school, maybe hustling and survival for life, I don't really give it a thought until I like the title turn around. Because then we used to go to our papa together. He was working at uh, Lagos State Water Corporation while I was a, I mean, a trained uh, clearing and forwarding agent then. So we used to move together, we used to come back together before he decided to opt out of civil service and fix theater as well. That was when he decided to hold, hold on to me and said, okay, you know what, come, let's be doing this together. And you know, fine. I, I, I'm actually not one, I mean, the, the zeal and the drive wasn't one thing. I had it in me before, but I just don't look for the opportunity to better it until I met him, which he created for me. And I'm still grateful to go for that. She is cinema guy in Bere. I want to follow you at Obaye. Let me see. She, I want to see what you say. Okobani, Omudada Bani, Abu Mushi and Rolosi. Eh, Baba Michelle, Kapo, Kaim, Kani Kapo, Yelo Yelo. You two two, we see what you buy in the city of Kolo Kweni. Obaye is in the city theater. Do you think we're in the city theater? Only. Only a day, only So, anybody know about I say you, the only problem, don't want to know any patient. You borrow I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, I I say, so for me, I am praying. Discipline, 
so ka fe le ka fe ka dien le ba oni yo to se ba le ban rigo la gba ro ni o ni o to se ma la ba ye gun ara ba bi akoko ko ma ko e de pe ko ti ma ye ko ba ju si ba ti ko e ma ro la e ma ri gaju e ma ri somo e ma ro to ku e ma ro lo e ma ro lo ro so ti di do do e jo to se la gba ro ni o ki kan ko ma se ni o wa o ti ma ta ye Ni bola tu vesego? Um Eagles Club ni, ni sure dey in Lagos City, Shoprite. Lori Adeniro Bosoya. 